Right, absolutely loving the new height of this thing. Um, so today's little mission, or this morning's little mission, is to put these um, scrub bars on. So I've got the TJM scrub bars, 63 mil tubing, right up. So what you do is you just pull this piece out, because they're a modular side step. One screw there, one screw underneath, pull that out, and then you dispose of that, and then the scrub bars slip right in. But I might have to loosen the steps to get them out far enough to slip it in, but we'll see how we go. Pull that out, just like that. Super easy. So yeah, that bolt's on pretty solid. And then the scrub bar has a tab to put that bolt back through there. It's all good. Let's get into this. So, a bit of hardware and some scrub rails. Instructions, stickers, rubber bungs for the end of the rails, heap of bolts. Righto, I've just finished masking up the front here so I don't want to mark the bar. Um, there's a bit of fiddling around to do at the front there. So, I'm going to try my luck. See if I can get this step right on. Wait, shed cap. Come on, get. Step it right in. See how far we can get it on. It's looking promising. chopping short so the last couple have been about 10 mil I've chopped off them once you've got that to sit nice all you have to do is make sure that scrub bar is going to be level through there and then get the brackets out and um, cable tie them on basically before you drill the hole. You'll see once you lift that up whether it's going to fit nicely or not. So that fits perfect. All I've got to do is put that rubber bung in the end and um, yeah, I'll put some cable ties around that. You get some big cable ties. Actually, don't think I've got real big ones now, but I'll put some around that and hold it and then that lets you drill it. Put a bit of paint on there and make sure it's not going to rust. And just simply wrap them around here and it holds that in place while you're um, messing around and getting ready. Just put it where the bolt holes aren't. Another one up the front here. This is the way I do it anyway. And then one underneath, so when you're adjusting the height, you can keep it steady. Adjust your height slightly, so I think it's up a little bit too high in the front. So you just want to get that sitting as good as you can. Which, thinking that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good there. So one more thing you want to do is just want to get so you just want to get this distance here right so you can see it's still pretty loose at the moment so I might be able to pull it in and then tighten up that bolt down the bottom might be able to tighten up that one down there and that will get that sitting right so it doesn't stick out too far One thing I have learnt with doing these is you don't pilot drill it because it gives you a lot of chance to go on the wrong angle. So you just want to make sure both your brackets are sitting nicely and then just get the right size drill bit, 12mm in this case, and just go send it straight through. So then 
when you send it straight through, it all will line up pretty good. And um, that's it. This sure it's terrible. Alright, I've got to sharpen this drill bit. Easy as that. Through. All the way out the other side. I'm just going to do them up loose for now. Obviously, once I've drilled all these, I'll take the brackets off, um, do a bit of paint protection on them, and pull this tape off. But for now, I've just got to drill these two more holes, which isn't too bad. This battery is running so flat. Typical. Test fit. Oh, so good. Beautiful. So that all bolts on. There's heaps of thread sticking out. So I'll pull all this back off, clean it up, do a bit of rust protection, and then do them up. And a tip for anyone that uses a heap of cable ties, especially large ones, um, you can reuse them pretty easy. So just grab the um, the clicker, just expand it out. Get a wax and grease remover, get the rest of this sticky stuff off to you. But it was worth it for not scratching the paint. Be cleaning them a bit up a bit by hand. It's by using a larger drill bit. All I have to do is tighten them, and literally, that is done. Minor update on this other side using that box to hold it out so I've been able to grind that to suit so that should fit pretty good just had the file in there so yeah same thing cable tie some brackets on start drilling drill them through pull them off pull the um, tape off again bolt them back up sweet tighten up the bottom steps and um, that's it final piece of the puzzle chuck the sticker on Well there you go guys, that's a wrap for another episode. Got the TJM side steps and scrub rails on, on a KDSS model. So that's how it's done, it's not too hard. So see you on the next episode.